All right, there's that all too familiar sound. Ever run across one of these or worse, ever had their fangs in you? Well, thankfully, statewide figures show snake bite deaths are rare, even though Western Diamondback rattlesnakes are found throughout South Texas. They, along with hundreds of other venomous snakes, are part of an ongoing research project at Texas AM Kingsville. The night team's Jesse DeGriotta reports someday they could save thousands of lives and thousands of dollars in treatment costs. But we must warn you, some of the images in this story are disturbing. There you go. Easy to say, hard to do. Handling a feisty rattlesnake takes two people with steady nerves. We never want to look at it as routine because that can be, that's when it, mistakes can happen. Just in case, every door has an emergency alarm, but he has no protective gloves. I need to have all my senses in my hands to know what it's going to do with his head. It loudly rattles its displeasure at giving up some of its venom, regularly harvested from many of the 450 snakes at the Texas A&M Serpentarium in Kingsville. Even this tiny bit of venom could cause severe tissue damage if left untreated. Painful enough to look at, but nothing compared to how it feels. Somebody getting a sledgehammer and smashing your hand with it. But since the anti-venom comes from snakes, the cure could be as toxic as the bite. It has to be administered by medical personnel because you could have uh, allergic reactions and that has to be monitored afterwards. That could change someday. Venom from these snakes paired with the right synthetic molecule is being used to create a universal anti-venom for snake bites around the world. We've already tested it in a preclinical uh, animal trials and it has uh, neutralizing effects. The first step towards an anti-venom easily applied with an EpiPen. No refrigeration required. That can be an effective and affordable treatment. In Kingsville, Jesse De Guillado, KSAT 12 News. All right, let's do the math now. Currently, anti-venom runs four to six thousand dollars per vial. An initial treatment can take as many as 30 of them. That's one hundred and eighty thousand dollars for a snake bite, depending on the severity. The hope is the new anti-venom that will take years of more testing could run only a few hundred dollars.